Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, Adams attack. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cxd4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. NXD4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. NF6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended E4 pawn. NC3 defends the E4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance B7-B5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to B5. H3 takes control of the G4 square and may prepare the G4 pawn push. This strikes a rival knight. The knight is thus brought to safety. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is best. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This makes it impossible for the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is ideal. This exposes a pawn attack. That's good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board center. Castling to the opponent's side of the board usually results in a quick, attacking game. That's good. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. 
there was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. That falls flat. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to take an open file with the rook. This allows the opponent to threaten checkmate. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. This permits the opponent to take an open file with the rook. It is a miss. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to play checkmate. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.